and uh, greetings, adventurers! <laughs> Welcome to another War of Appearance session here in Ragnarok Online GGH. Again, we are your casters. My name is James. And my name is MG. Let's go! And uh, yes, uh, hello to you guys and hello <laughs> to everyone in the chat right now. Hello, MG. Hopefully you're all uh, you you are having a wonderful ah, yeah. evening definitely, and uh, definitely. hope you all guys have had a wonderful day of course to finish the day off we have our war preparing for tonight hopefully we'll be seeing a lot of action coming from these guilds because uh, we're seeing I think um, uh, last nightmare defend here <laughs> sacred palace uh, in holy shadow dominary is there defending as well yes. uh, I think we saw aftershock a bit a while ago when we were scouting, right MG? Aftershock, uh, we saw a couple of nonsense as well and mm -hmm. some of the Dominari is actually moving uh, to Hohenschwongo. Hohenschwongo, oh yeah. yeah. You can pronounce it properly now MG. Yeah, I'm actually like... <laughs> so happy for you now. I'm, I'm kind of skeptical on how I pronounce it, but yeah, oh, am I oh, supposed okay. to that <laughs> All right. Uh, so everyone, uh, for those of you guys who are watching right now, I'd like to invite you all to uh, keep on watching because we'll be giving away codes as usual. Uh, codes are one-time use. First one to redeem the code will be able to claim the rewards. The, the, the codes will have a question mark in them that you need to guess uh, between a... Ra a for, uh, <laughs> do, do, does a guess a random number from yes. 0 to 9. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm lost for words right now. But anyway, <laughs> uh, if you can all like and share the stream as well, make sure to follow the ROGGH page and join the ROGGH Discord. And if our, if you have uh, shoutouts, you have comments, you want to talk about anything in the chat, just keep it nice, of course. Uh, we'll be able to read them as well, like uh, our chat right now. Hello! Hi, Anyong James and MG. Hello mm -hmm. to Jose Miguel as well. Uh, I'm not the first one. Uh, Kai is always the first one to comment. Ah, oh. because you're. I think you're so slow, to <laughs> Just yeah. kidding. No gift code. Yeah, we'll be. We will be putting. We'll be putting that out. Actually, we have one. Right yeah. Now. I think Michelle is just busy on leveling. Just yeah, busy yeah. For hours every day and uh, maximizing the events. <laughs> Maybe you don't have that bell icon on. That's why Kai is the only mm, the first one. Yeah. Sure uh, that. chatting. Yes. So if you do want to shout out your friends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, your guildmates, your family members, your uh, other half, your spouses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just spouting nonsense right now. But yeah. Uh yeah, if you want to shout out anyone, if you're a fan of MG, of course, just a or fan it. of James as well. Uh, yeah. That, uh, yeah, that yeah, never happens. Though. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, let's talk about the defense right now of Last Nightmare MG. Uh, we we saw this defense from Last Nightmare in mm -hmm. the last session. It was last Tuesday. Of course, they have a weaker defense right now. Yep. Uh, that's probably because some of them are just roaming around trying to capture, conquer other castles mm -hmm. as well. Uh, I think that's the same goes for Dominari. But uh, for Dominari, uh, in Holy Shadow, what's, um, what's different about Holy Shadow is that Holy Shadow has a higher economy because I think last nightmare when they held that castle before before it got conquered by Dominari mm -hmm. they invested a lot for the economy yeah so that's why I think the economy right now of Holy Shadow <laughs> is really high up and uh, yeah you you can grab a lot of treasure chests from Definitely, that yes um, I think uh, they exerted a lot of effort on, on the defense as well um, we didn't actually saw like a big presence of Dominari on certain uh, castles like for the past uh, warfare period because we all know that uh, they're trying to focus on the economy as well and uh, at the same time they just want to get that um, that item just to finish off their maybe their god item I'm not sure if, if they are focusing literally on their god item but if they are focusing on their god item definitely um, the, the the economy that they have right now is can, uh, can actually make their lives more easy on getting that seal same goes for last nightmare last nightmare yes mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned that they don't uh, they have a low defense right now 
but what I'm thinking right now is since that they've been scouting uh, the entrance or the outside or front of their ca uh, their kingdom or castle from time to time, they're aware that they have that time to scout out um, other opponents on what's current, you know, happening on their certain castles. If the mm -hmm. enemy is currently defending, I think it's proper to say that they can actually just uh, sit back and relax for the meantime. Mm -hmm while everyone is still settling down on their defense again main yes. priority is the defense for a castle increase the economy and not lose the castle again right so yeah mm -hmm. i think that's what uh last nightmare's game plan for tonight mm -hmm. and uh while you were actually uh you know uh talking a bit uh earlier uh <laughs> actually here in hoi mm -hmm. uh two members of purple dominari just charged in the castle of nonsense right now and uh yeah they actually took out a lot of members from nonsense almost the whole guild of nonsense with only two members Ooh. so uh it's only a rune knight and a shadow chaser just causing trouble here for nonsense and i'm not sure what's happening to nonsense right now most of their members are not really moving <clears throat> Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm not sure what they are waiting for. Maybe uh, some of their members are trying to settle down first, maybe, or I'm not sure. And I'm uh, not we sure, yeah though. yeah, and we know Dominari. Most of their members are kind of really you know stacked. geared up. Yeah, yeah, they're really stacked. They're really geared up. Uh, here in Fadgrid, uh, on the other hand, of course, we have members of Infix Reborn here. <coughs> and uh, plus 100, very, very strong, is oh. here as well. The man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. He's a female character, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, how would you, I would call that mm -hmm. MG. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's in Fadgrid, though. That's in Fadgrid. Okay. Uh, for Cryo, I didn't see anyone there. But. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be seeing uh, more guilds pop up. Of course, we're doing our own scouting. Fratres, mm -hmm. I see some members of Fratres here in New Schwan Staying Castle as well. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think most guilds are going to opt for the defense of their own castles because I think they want to prioritize <laughs> just uh, maximizing what the benefits that they can get in Warp Imperium. Definitely. And um, at the same time, I think it's actually proper to just, uh, you know, sometimes to lay back and uh, like focus on the defense versus on, you know, playing too much aggressiveness on, on the Warframe Imperium because we saw that last Warframe Imperium, um, I mean, I think that's last, last Warframe Imperium wherein there's a big, um, like, a big steal came from Dominari mm -hmm. versus Last Nightmare, I think, uh, Last mm -hmm. Nightmare's Castle. They managed to snatch the castle of uh, last nightmare during that time. It it was really uh, like they tried to hold uh, hold that um, castle for like a week maybe or more than yeah a week or or uh, I, around two sessions. Two they sessions, held that yeah. for around two sessions. In the third session, it got conquered by Dominari. I so, think yeah. what happened there was last nightmare got a little bit too relaxed. Mm -hmm. They got a little bit too relaxed. Some of their members aren't even. Uh, you know, scouting outside, but if they're really desperate in, you know, just defending the castle, yes, yes, you you would not go out in that two hours that you are needed to defend that castle. Yes. But I think they are not desperate enough for that castle for the economy that they invested. That's why you know, Dominari got the opportunity to penetrate their defense because they, Dominari has been losing to last nightmare's defense for around two sessions two, yes three yeah. sessions but uh, when it came to that final push that dominari did uh i believe last nightmare's defense got a little bit too relaxed they uh, they got the chance to actually penetrate the defense and uh, make sure to wipe everyone out and conquer the castle mm -hmm. and that's why uh maybe last nightmare panic a little bit right there uh, because uh or no one was casting any skills because you know, Dominari didn't even show up once at that yes. time that uh, when they conquered uh, the castle. So maybe it was part of Dominari's strategy yes. to not really show up until the last minute that they want to conquer <laughs> that castle. Yes, I think uh, that the the temple of uh, of Dominari all throughout the sessions, if last time is defending, 
on the first and uh, first hour of the session that we have, they're gonna go all in, mm -hmm. all all in push, first one hour or one hour thirty minutes. That's gonna be an all in push. Mm -hmm. But on that session, specifically on that session, Dominari didn't actually made any commitment versus last nightmare. So maybe last nightmare thought that oh okay this is gonna be an easy uh, defense or easy uh, um, session for this day, but I think. Yeah, like you said, Dominari planned that all along, mm -hmm. and when they saw the opportunity, and um, they actually forced last nightmare to commit an error on that scenario, and that error gave them an opportunity to um, to snatch that Imperium out of the hands of last nightmare, and they managed to bag the Imperium on uh, mm -hmm. on the end of the session as well. Yeah, I think we need to follow the players right here now, MG though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, I think uh, because uh, it got conquered right now by Dominari, Dominari is going to take the opportunity to really invest in that castle to make it <coughs> maybe a hundred economy uh, for the items that they need for the god items, of course. Yes. But yeah, so last nightmare is now focused on defending Sacred Palace. Which is at the lower right of uh, Greenwood Lake. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so they are going to be busy defending their own respective castles. And I think Last Nightmare uh, is going to roam around later on uh, along with some members of Dominari. They are going to roam around a bit as well. But uh, here in Fadgood Castle though, Infinix Reborn got the opportunity to uh, strike the oh. Imperium right now. While Pasanid, very very strong, is just... <coughs> Uh, making sure to annoy them a little bit right now. Of course, yes. first circle in the middle. We have that shadow chaser just uh, causing that masquerade against yes. that uh, Sura. But plus one, I'm very very strong. Just sat down. Of course, he is going to give that castle to <laughs> Infinix. And I think that's because uh, Vadark is not online to support yeah. plus one. I'm very very strong. Yep. Ooh. Oh, Vadrak rather. Vadrak. Vadrak. Yeah. Right. So last nightmare is going to be here. Okay. Last nightmare. Oh, here we, we have go. Arsenal. Okay. So Arsenal, maybe they do want to commit in this castle. Earlier, I saw them conquer Scoble mm -hmm. Castle as well. So we are going to have a little bit of a battle here. No, nobody from Infinix actually went in from uh, the portal entrance. Yes. But uh, oh. as soon as they did, as soon as some of them did. Uh, they immediately got wiped out because of the storm gust coming from this warlock, though. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that uh, I think they have the information now that Arsenal right now is currently at the first level of their castle. So we're not sure if Infinix is going to commit for a defense. Um, that guy didn't actually catch the numbers of Arsenal, so I'm not sure if Infinix is going to go for a full defense de uh, here or they. Uh, they're just gonna bail it out on this one and capture another castle. Well, they could always use that flag warp to go inside very, yeah. very quickly, though. But uh, we have a member of Last Nightmare just roaming around as mm -hmm. well. So if Last Nightmare is willing to help out Infinix Reborn just to defend this castle, I think uh, it will be much better for them. But uh, mm -hmm. if Infinix Reborn has a defense all set up right now, uh, maybe the numbers of Arsenal mm -hmm. isn't going to be enough. Arsenal and uh, Purple Dominari. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we are going to okay. see some Let's battles check. here and there. Let's see inside. Uh, do they have a defense set up? No defense set up oh. right now. They're a little bit too late, I think. Or maybe they got wiped out <laughs> by Dominari and Arsenal. Yes. I did see them actually go in. They were quick. Hmm. They were quick, though. Yeah, the moment the, the Imperium broke, actually, it went in immediately. So I'm not sure how they uh, went there quickly. Okay, mm -hmm. Infinix right now. Oh, they just went out. Or they got wiped. Oh. Maybe they got wiped uh, and then they wiped. they're going to conquer it again. Not sure. Oh, Not just... sure what uh, they're planning to do right now though. But uh, I'm also scouting other castles right now. <coughs> Arsenal is just conquered Fadgrid. No one is defending Scoville Castle. Mm -hmm. Freya, the Teddy Bear Cup. Just conquered Freya. Yes Nelf as well. Yes. And uh, yeah, some of them are just having fun in War of Imperium. Adonis is nowhere to be found. Ooh. I'm not sure where they are, if they're going to participate in War of Imperium. But I am following Infinity Reborn. 
Uh, I, I believe they are going to Fadbit again, and they're the Ooh. ones who have a super novice in their lineup. <laughs> so Infinite Reborn go. just went in, overbanned coming from the Royal Guard. And of course, do we have that Sura just going to cause some trouble no! there with that first circle just beside? The novice! First server is going to be in trouble! No! But Magnetic Earth just got casted on the floor. Whoa. He is just trying to barely survive right now, but it got Thank canceled. You. Again, Land Protector once uh, uh, casted the uh, once again, but will get uh, destroyed by that Sorcerer coming from Arsenal. Yeah. Arsenal just doing a full-on defense right here at the entrance of Fadwit Castle. Mm -hmm. It's actually good. Like uh, they know right now that um, I think they're aware that Last Nightmare is, uh, is not available to uh, do a quick clash with them. Mm -hmm. They're actually friends with maybe friends with Dominari, yeah. So no one uh, can, I mean Dominari cannot contest them. Um, third, I don't Friends with Dominari, I think Arsenal and Dominari are really allies though. Yeah. I, I don't uh, they've been, they've been I don't allies like, for so uh, yeah. long. Maybe. They've been allies assume. for so yeah. long. No. Let's put like well, allies. It's, it's not assuming, we, we can see it in stream though. Yeah. They've been allies for like multiple sessions now. Yeah. So uh, if they're not allies at this point, I'm not sure what they are. Okay, Goons right now charging in with Infinite Reborn. And, oh, what? And, suicide and, Destruction, you got affected by that uh, Suicide Destruction though. But, oh uh, yeah, what a beautiful Suicide Destruction there. Coming from uh, Goons, I believe that they actually just went that in really with that Skura. Just using that Cursed Circle to, um, you know, uh, disable the back lane of mm -hmm. Arsenal right there. <laughs> And uh, just eliminate everyone with, it, with that suicidal destruction. Wait, uh, James, you're gonna say that um, disabling or eliminating the uh, how would you call this the uh, spectator? <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the suicidal destruction was so impactful. Yeah, that it eliminated the spectator. Yeah, as so it well, was really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. But yeah. Yeah. So anyways, uh, Infinite uh, Reborn, you know, wants to get a taste of a revenge here versus Arsenal and the Warlock. And they're trying to uh, charge in. They only have like, uh, Arsenal has one member, two members actually, uh, one member, sorry, on the uh, on the field right now. And Goons Ooh. charging in as well. Multiple Dragons right there, a Land Protector securing the portal for Goons. Goons right now oh. is trying to regroup on the upper left here. Wow, of, okay, Goons has a lot of numbers yes. right now though. So, what we're just waiting is uh, if Arsenal, are we gonna get an answer from Arsenal? Are they gonna clash this one? Okay, so Infinity Reborn trying to move on the right side. Oh, oh, what? What? Uh, did they get eliminated, yeah, eliminated yeah. by one yeah. Arrow Storm? Or for Dragon's Breath? I don't know what landed on them I though. I think Arrow Storm? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's great to see goons with a lot of numbers right now, but oh, Arsenal just hitting them with a lot of skills right there. Of course, that sorcerer just casting the diamond dust as well uh, prevented uh, goons from um, you know using any potions. Yeah. So if that uh, that status hit them, they won't be able to use any potions or healing items at that time. But. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Goons is just going to regroup right now. Meltdown. We haven't seen that skill getting casted in War Preparing for a long time. I'm not sure. It's my first time seeing it in a it, while. It's, it's been a while. It's been, it's been a while. It's my first time seeing that skill getting yes. casted in a while. Alright. Again, that Sorcerer will get eliminated by that. Sura. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. But Sorry. I just want to point out this character like um, Arcanon. Ar Arkan, Arkan, something, Arkan, like he's actually uh, doing a good job on the damage as well. He's been hitting like really hard on on Arsenal and uh, in Phoenix. So and he's pretty tanky as well. Actually good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think uh, Goons right now has a good positioning on this one. They managed to put their uh, Minstrel at the back. All of the supports are at the back. Same goes with uh, their RG. It's actually staying at the back, and right now Arsenal charging in. Last Nightmare doing a Oof. solid curse circle on top of Goons, and Arsenal managed to sweep away the two guilds, Last Nightmare and Goons. Yeah, it's, it's actually a, yeah. yeah. When Arsenal pushed out, uh, 
goons are really at a disadvantage because they can yes. also use that portal to their advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if Arsenal just decides to, you know, have some of their members push in from the portal, mm -hmm. that will be really beneficial for them. But <laughs> Arsenal is going to set up their own GVG, uh, you know, <laughs> set up right there at the entrance of this castle. I'm not sure who is going to put up okay. with them. Maybe goons or maybe some members of Last Nightmare. But yes. Last Nightmare is busy defending a sacred palace right now so i'm not sure if they are going to contest on a full-on collision against uh arsal right now probably goons will be the best bet if adonis were here i think adonis will be the ones who will go on a, yes. in a gvg battle against them though yes definitely uh adonis will take this uh, fight but right now i think goons is doing a pretty uh well uh they're actually doing good here it's just they need to like put like uh, several players on the north side just to make sure that they're pretty aware on what's current uh happening on arsenal if arsenal is gonna push but right now um yeah they're just focused on the entrance here so yeah arsenal right now i think are they planning to charge oh, yes they they're are planning going to, push to charge out. In. arsenal right now pushing in on goons goons right now trying to sustain the damage uh, uh, from Arsenal. Arsenal is having a hard time. One goon is actually Ooh. moving at the stack of Arsenal, but Arsenal managed to eliminate that player. And uh, yeah, that's a wipe coming from uh, Arsenal. I, 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 like, I, I like how you said it. One goon. One goon is just there at the stack of Arsenal. Did I say that correctly? It's, it's <laughs> yeah. only... <laughs> yeah, that, that's fine. I think that's understandable. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> well, yeah, actually, because Arsenal just pushed out and uh, uh, just uh, eliminated goons at the entrance. Yeah, they made sure that uh, goons doesn't have enough time to prepare for that GVG battle, and uh, because of the scouts that they are doing, uh, along with a swordsman, <laughs> with swordsman with that baby pouring, of course, the baby just pouring, uh, appearing, just appearing on the stream. Okay, hello there. Hopefully you're all you're having a wonderful day, and uh, you're ha enjoying your own leveling experience there. <laughs> okay, so if Goons has enough time to actually do some buffs here and there, uh, make sure they have a decent oh, setup. Oh, another curse circle. But uh, they Arsenal is not giving them enough time to set things up here yeah. at the entrance. And uh, they get eliminated really, really quickly because of the skills that Arsenal is pushing. Of course, Curse Circle will land on Goons oh. right now. While uh, things are right all kind of right now, Infix, are, Infix Reborn is going to be here as well. We have the Royal Guard just trying to survive, but will get eliminated by the Guillotine Cross. And the Arsenal just holding on to this choke point here at the entrance of Madrid Castle. While Goons just going back in, of course, uh, a Ranger just got wiped there. But uh, before he got uh, eliminated, he immediately casted that Arrow Storm, which is also a good thing. Just dealing damage before going down. Trying to take the person mm -hmm. with him. But, yeah, that Sura is a little bit too tanky for that Ranger to actually eliminate in one hit. Yes. And uh, for, for this fight, I think uh, Guns has a big uh, chance here versus Arsenal. It's just they need to move to a, uh, a different location because this location is kind of like a dead spot for me. Because if you're going to stay here, you're going to deal with the entrance. You're going to deal on Arsenal on the north side as well. So just to eliminate that one, you can actually just go and move somewhere. Like maybe on the far up, no yeah, upper left here. So just in case um, Arsenal is going to move, they're going to move forward and from the entrance you have time to react from it. So yeah, so I think this area is kind of dead spot for me. So mm -hmm. I think uh, they need to um, check a better position or location for the regroup. Yes, and a member of Last Nightmare just uh, roaming around here and there of course, that's Sura. And we have a comment here from Michelle Laban, I mean Goons <laughs> fighting. <laughs> fight Goons. Fight. Yeah. Yes, all right. Uh, Laban uh, means fight in uh, in the Philippines. Yeah. So, so. Fighting Goons. Fighting. All right. yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Arsenal is going to push out right now while uh, a member of Pirates Pirate. is already inside. Jade. Jade, oh. Jade, okay. let's go, Jade. 
We got this. Uh, but Infinix Reborn will be here as well. Curse Circle not Reblack. actually hitting. Oh, here we uh, go. Here we Infinix go. Infinix Reborn just immediately pushing in. But Arrowstorm is landing on them right now. But Swarm now. Arsenal has a Royal Swarm Guard now. just beside. Swarm now. Just beside that portal though. And uh, Infinix Reborn, uh, I think are not all that fully geared yet. But they are just uh, they, they, trying to they are gain just experience the in the battles though. Yeah, the confidence. I, I like the confidence of uh, Infinix. Like yes. they just want to push in without any hesitation. And right now they've been uh, trying to kill um, Arsenal members one at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, the best saying for that is, uh, you know, before you go or before you get gears, mm -hmm. you need to improve yourself. <clears throat> first. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and uh, Vadrak is now here at the entrance of this castle along with plus 100 very very strong and we have uh, a cheer coming from Jen Villar go last nightmare go well okay so here the representative of last nightmare is uh what's the name of that sura is uh uh jay uh, yeah oh uh, Hoz Hoz yeah, Hoz yeah 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 so that's the, re the that's the representative of last nightmare here in Patrick castle of course we also have that ranger from last nightmare just out. going in and out while two members of <laughs> sword are just holding on yes. just uh yeah the the very tanky vadrak plus 100 very very strong somebody killed vadrak okay oh somebody needs to kill him go mm -hmm. bro and there goes that sacrifice of oh, course uh, that point. sura i think is hurting that sura is hurting yeah. because of that vanishing point as well and uh arsenal of oh. course decides to push out now in phoenix okay, time to back up time members. to back up <laughs> currently in their lineup and now they are going out as uh, arsenal is just going to hold uh, this portal while uh, goons are just going to try and regroup magnetic earth failed to cast on the floor as they are going to get damaged heavily at the entrance because of those aoe skills oh, but arsenal is go? going to go, go back uh, inside and uh, defend that choke point because they want to give space yes and this is what i like about arsenal they always try to give space to their opponent here at the entrance and uh, just um, improve their gvg skills uh, by holding a certain choke point <laughs> And just pushing and taking advantage of their opponents, but not really, uh, you know, uh, doing a portal defense. Yes, it's actually uh, like saying like they're showing respect to those uh, players who want to, who wants to fight them as well. You know, mm -hmm. so it's actually a good uh, sign that um, Arsenal is just not spawn camping, right? So mm -hmm. yeah, it's a different story if you spawn camp versus on giving yep. them some uh, space to regroup okay so currently goons right now on the upper uh, lower right mm -hmm. of the screen and uh yes they got curse Ooh, okay. really bad arsenal going in punishing with the dragon's breath and the bowling bash yes. coming from that rk that really mm -hmm. hurts that really hurts yes and uh you know it differs per situation though because sometimes arsenal does a portal defense as well <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, it depends on whether they really want that castle or yeah. whether they're just, you know, just ex experiencing GVG or Warf Imperio for GVG. And uh, right now, they are just uh, going in for the experience, of course, going in for the battles that they can uh, achieve by uh, holding this certain choke point here in Fadgrid Castle as well. Yes. And uh, uh, if you if you saw what happened earlier though, when when goons stacked up there at the lower right yeah. area of uh, the entrance, that rune knight from Arsenal just pushed in, just uh, stepping on that uh, braggy of uh, what do you call this uh, of, of goons, mm -hmm. and just using that braggy against them, just uh, multiple dragons breath immediately, and eliminating mm -hmm. goons uh, in a flash. Of course, we have that. Sura with that curse circle as well, along with that shadow chaser, just uh, causing some trouble there for goons. Yes, I agree on that. Um, actually, uh, it's been a while since we saw Arsenal like this again. Um, the last time that we saw Arsenal doing like just a free, you know, just um, just a free PvP GVG guild. It's, I think it's last month before the release of the God item. You know, I really miss that um, Arsenal who just keep on chasing those guilds and just wants to, you know, to do PvP all day or all uh, for the entire session. 
So I really miss how Arsenal uh, play their their offensive strategies uh, versus Dominari versus Last Nightmare versus Adonis and other and other guilds as well. So yeah. it's it's really nice to see them to uh, play like this again. Yes. Okay. So right now, the MG, while uh, everyone is doing their own thing, of course, here in Fat with Castle, of course, I do want to ask our viewers. Oh. Q&A oh. person? Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, you know, I want to ask our viewers as well. Because uh, uh, Ragnarok Online GGH just announced. Oh, okay. Ragnarok okay. Asia Masters 2022 exhibition oh. match at ESGS Philippines. It's, it's done already. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So, for those of you guys who are interested, who guys are coming to ESGS? Are you guys coming to ESGS? A I think I, that I was included? Michelle who asked before, what am are I your included? plans in ESGS? All right. I think that was Michelle before, or uh, that is... Uh, oh, no, Primrose? I think... I, 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 I forgot. Yeah, I think that's Michelle. Oh. Cause I, she, I, it's either Michelle yeah, or Primrose. She's bugging me about the tickets, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't have free tickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Ragnarok Online GGH is going to have a uh, exhibition match. Ragnarok Asia, Asia Masters 2022 exhibition match at ESGS. All right. So uh, there are certain requirements. Uh, I think the mainly you, you need to have a character of at least level 120 in ROGGH. So I believe that is the only <laughs> crucial requirement that you need. <laughs> I think I think Michelle is gonna be mad at me because she tried to level 99 uh, her Gun Slinger <laughs> oh, <laughs> on the oh event, no. and she just realized oh, that no. he can reach that certain. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so any free tickets? Um, just wait for further announcement. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, but. Uh, yeah, the team criteria for the exhibition match is that you must be a team of seven players and the participants must have a character in Ragnar Online GGA server that is at at least 120 base level. So oh. if you are going to level free to play around, um, it will probably take um, maybe 50 hours to level. Oh, this. That's easy, bro. Like 50 if, hours? If, yeah. 50, 50 hours. With party, uh, to level, maybe? To level 120 because the grind will be uh, from level 80 to level 110. <clears throat> Depends on your character. It's so go going to be annoyingly painful to level. <clears throat> but if you're going to level a party, that will be much, much faster. And if you're going to have, of course, <clears throat> premium and uh, manuals, <clears throat> that will be much faster though. But uh, for free to play, I think that's around 50 hours of grind. Just constant grinding without, uh, you know, doing anything else. Just le trying to level, doing some board quests. Uh, I think 100 to, I, I mean, level 1 novice to 120 will take around 50 hours. Oh. Uh, so that's James doing... Uh, 50, uh... 50 hours <coughs> gameplay in around... Uh, 10 hours a day maybe 5 days or you can do it at 7 days but uh, you need to do some board quests so um, in a single day you need to reach at least level 100 Whoa. <laughs> level 100 and, and that will be that will be possible if you grind a lot and if there's an EXP boost <laughs> okay so the best best time to level is when there is an EXP boost of course if you have a party so that will be much easier and uh, you have manuals, you have premiums, you have neon vines, so that you can level much, much quicker and just use the opportunity to level up. Mm -hmm. That's actually correct. And that's James doing his uh, math. My own for, computation, for right? His, uh, for how to level up. To I, I, I know the struggle, man. I know the struggle. <laughs> I tried doing the to level 1 to 99 in uh, like a day. Not 1 to 99 transcendent in a day without EXP boost. It's painful. <clears throat> that's uh, that's uh, really coach, coach James for you guys. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, anyway, that... we have a comment from Kai. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> James and Henry, can we invite <laughs> you for an after party? Depends Ooh. on what kind of after party. I, I don't though, go but... if there's no tug tugs, you know? 
so ah uh, yeah but uh yeah we're free to join any after parties i think but uh let's talk about that in a in a later different time. session yeah but uh let's uh focus on esgs of course who guys are coming or who, 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 who guys who of you guys are going to esgs all right um <clears throat> For the exhibition match, if you do want to register, of course, there is a registration link. Uh, let's check if it's in the pinned comment. Uh, no, it's not in the pinned comment right now. So if any one of the admins are watching, can you post the uh, link right there? So for any one of you guys who are interested is in joining the exhibition match at, the, at ESGS, just click on the registration link of course just take note of the requirements and the team criteria for you to register for the event right okay so uh how about you mg are you excited for the exhibition match dude i've been practicing every day bro oh oh, oh wait wait uh, wait just... wait okay so right now uh, okay, I, I'm, I'm waiting, MG. I'm okay, waiting. Okay, Scarlet Tennis. <laughs> we have Nonsense with Nemesis Armada. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, so these guys have been allies for a long time as well. <clears throat> uh, I think they are also allied with Chao? Yeah. Yeah, oh. uh, back then in qualifiers, they were allied with Chao. Okay. So, uh, so outside you have uh, Opus Day. I think Arsenal as well is gonna go here. Mm -hmm. So right Dominating now, adding purple. I saw some of their members yes. outside as well. So right now the uh, defense setup that we're seeing <laughs> here, we have uh, massive um, AOS. You have the storm gust here. You have the classical talk as well. You have a um, couple of dragons breath um, casting arrow storm as well. So I think uh, right now they have a pretty good setup here. So, okay, so a Dominari right now charging in. <laughs> the, the name of. I, is that the Wanderer of Nonsense? Wait, oh my goodness. Just beside the portal though, but uh, let's talk about it later as Arsenal is going to push in uh, the Opus Day as well. But Nonsense has a defense, uh, decent defense setup right now and Dominari is just using the Dragon's Water Breath to attack okay. Nonsense and Nemesis Armada. But uh, they couldn't get close and outside of that uh, classical plot on the floor right now. Okay, so you can actually check the name uh, of that uh, Wanderer. It's just beside the portal though. Which one? Like, oh, this one? <laughs> the, the pandemic girl. Oh Wait. my goodness, the name. I can't see All it. Right. They don't have the emblem again. Yeah, not this does, <clears throat> doesn't have an emblem. Uh, yeah. MG is a scammer. I have thought Gunslinger what? is going to <laughs> be able to reach level 100, 100, 120. <clears throat> okay, I just translated that out of nowhere. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, uh, yeah, MG is okay. Okay, a okay. To be fair, just to just to answer that that statement, you had fun playing it. Okay, you had fun playing it. But and you agree it. that you you scammed? No, no, <laughs> I didn't say that. It can actually go to 120. I just told her that Gunslinger is really good and it's very unique. Uh -huh, That's it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I didn't say about anything like the level and all. So yeah. Okay, so uh, Michelle. So what <laughs> MG is saying is you just got brainwashed and scam. So yeah, you know, better you just joined... better level up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So right, anyway, right. Um, okay, we're, we saw a Guyak push here coming from Arsenal, moving on the left side of this uh, map, and again they managed to sw uh, wipe the left party of nonsense and a nemesis armada here and right now they're just trying to finish off the remaining defenders for this entrance nemesis and uh, nonsense is not uh not seen oh they have like a couple of uh RKs right now still countering arsenal so arsenal right now is just going on the bridge trying to trying to secure the entrance but we're not seeing any uh nonsense presence here currently and nemesis armada Opus Day, on the other hand, mm -hmm. is not committing on this one. They're just gonna move. Yes. Alright. Wow. 
Uh, yeah, anyway, Arsenal is already defending this castle. Of course, Scarlet Palace, the entrance, is already being held <coughs> by Arsenal currently. And uh, for those of you guys who, who do want to level up and not really level up a gunslinger <laughs> like what LG did, uh, maybe <laughs> we can have a, or maybe I could also invite MG into a leveling session. We could, uh, you know, go for the, the event. The one where you need to create a new character for you to get the new costume. I think that would be fun as well. So oh, yeah, maybe definitely. MG, uh, me, because I joined. I joined the party. Uh, shout out to the, the, the guys I played with. Shout out to you guys. Uh, yeah, I joined the party and uh, level up my character. <coughs> what class? Around uh, level 80. So, what class though? Uh, it's it's a bard. It's going to be a clown very soon. Just oh. up to level 80 transcendent though. But uh, if you do want to have a character that's listed in the the requirements for the ascend the next level event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you could level up with this. Or if you do want to create a new character, then now's the best time because a lot of people are in low level spots. Okay, so not a lot are on the high level spots. So most of them are back to uh, the spores, orc dungeon, um, orc village. Yeah, a lot of them are there. So, yeah, you could uh, party up with some people, or maybe join us in our leveling journey. I'm going yes. to invite MG as well. Definitely, I need to create a new character. Yeah, you need to create a new <clears throat> character. Yes. So, I can, so, yeah, so Michelle, if you do want to join in and not level a gunslinger, <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a character that okay. can level up to 120, yeah, you can yeah. join <laughs> I, Dude, to be fair, I didn't mention anything. Like, I swear, I didn't mention anything. I just told her just to play gunslinger. It's a unique character. No one has it. So, mm -hmm. why not play it? Right? So, you're a unique character. Everyone's in the market will be surprised that you exist. <laughs> what? You exist? <laughs> of course, of course, the character exists. But anyway, though, uh, yeah. So if you if you are in, interested in joining the exhibition match at yeah. uh, ESGS, just click on the the link here that's uh, posted by Ragnar on the GGH in the <laughs> comment section. Just click on that. Of course, register your team and uh, get a chance to participate on our on ground exhibition <laughs> match. And you'll see a lot of. Uh, players there uh, a it. lot of people there a lot of players of course uh we will be there <coughs> cms will be there um <coughs> other guilds will be there other players are, will are be we there. so let's quite, all question, have James, fun. are we allowed to say what's the setup of the exhibition no, no, no 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 yet? no no uh, no no let's let's dude, not let's dude. not uh if they know any if they know what's out. the setup on the uh, 7v7 oh my god uh, yeah, Ooh. but for for the seven v seven setting though, they can, <coughs> they, uh, they they need to know. Of course, the uh, what do you call this, the 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 items, the level, and the characters that they can use. Of course, uh, <coughs> the the tournament rules or the seven v seven rules. They need to be familiar with the seven v seven rules, and yeah, it's quite different. But there is a link for the seven v seven rules. Uh, is there a hot link for that? But if I, I need to check that uh, check that out. But there but, is yeah, a link the for the seven v seven rules. Yeah. I think it's on the Discord as well. Uh huh. It's in the Discord as well. But I want it to be posted here. Uh, at the at our comment section so yeah. that other people can also check it out. Yeah, and mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be fun, really fun, because it will bring that nostalgic feeling again wherein you're you know you're gonna play with other people in a land game mm -hmm. event so yeah make mm -hmm. sure to register guys make sure and yes. Michelle make sure to level up <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for those of you guys who didn't join the ROGGH discord as of yet make sure to join <laughs> in as well because a lot of things can be seen and read and heard there heard. as uh yeah. there is a <laughs> thursday night show every time it's the lodikai yes. talk talk the lodikai talk talk show <laughs> maybe next time they can like 
guy can uh, like you know do a video. Like, oh yeah, of yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Mm-hmm. So I, w- I really want to see guy's face oh, every so time. Okay. Yes, every I want to see guy's face every time she is doing the 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 time check. Maybe maybe he's just smiling, just reading. Yeah, it. right. Like, yeah, yeah. But I think that's gonna be. Really I, I, cool. I can imagine. Really, I can imagine. Really what cool. I look like. <laughs> yeah. If I can do that, that's. Oh my god, dude. It's, oh. it's, it's, a, you know, it's gonna be a really cool session with Kai. No, 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 no. I think uh, if Kai's going to be an e- ESGS as well. We can have a video of him doing that. But yeah. anyway, anyway, MG, uh, the exhibition match is really something to look forward to. Of course, we're also inviting you guys to join in on the exhibition match as well. So make sure to register if you have a team joining in. If you are going to ESGS, uh, and uh, yeah, are you gonna play you are, on the exhibition there. match? What are you gonna play or? I, I don't know. <laughs> it depends. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But we'll see you there at we'll the see, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if <laughs> All you right. want to team us up, we're, we're just around the corner there. And uh, you can just tap <laughs> us. And hey, you want to join my team? Yeah. I would really love to do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, how, how, how am I going to say it? If you want to know the rules of the... 7v7 mm-hmm. you can go to <coughs> roam.genjoy.asia uh, hey, roam.genjoy.asia so it's roam.genjoy.asia okay so I believe that's correct <laughs> yeah and uh, we have a comment here of course Arsenal is pushing uh, no it's defending while well, Nemesis Armada are just waiting outside here in uh, Bamboo Grove Hill? Didn't Bamboo Grove Yes. Hill? I think uh, they actually shouted that um, if they want GVG, uh, just go to. Uh... Oh, br- that's Bright Arbor, no? Um, Bright Arbor, yeah. BA. Yes, Bright Arbor. It's cringe, but I do it for you guys. Hey, what? <laughs> Said Kai. <laughs> Alright. The, the introduction. Okay, but uh, th- that's the Lodi Kai talk show. Lo- Lodi Kai trophy talk. Next time I want to record the the voice of Kai, like mm-hmm. you know. along with video though, <laughs> along with the video, there should yeah. be a video on that yeah. as well. Like every time that we hit a commercial break, Kai pops Ice up. Please, All right, Kai pops <laughs> up. That's it. That's the commercial. Uh huh. Tofi Talk should have a video presentation next time. <laughs> a with the, I think Kai would really love the commercial with the capras with the S. Remember what? the Capras? Uh huh. Yeah. I think Guy would really love that. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sidren, <laughs> uh, shout out to Chi, the heartbreaker of Arsenal. Ooh. Ooh, why is. Careful. Is Chi. Careful. Why, careful. Why, is, why is she or he called the heartbreaker? Ooh, careful. I'm curious. Alright. So we are 15 minutes in our current Warfare Imperium session. So far, though, MG, mm. a lot of uh, players are just roaming around different castles. Of course, we've been seeing Arsenal, uh, some bits of purple dominary, sword, of course, mm-hmm. goons, Nemesis Armada, oh. and nonsense. But for Nemesis Armada and nonsense, they're not the types to go on a full-on collision GVG. Yes, they're the types to go on a uh, you know portal defense. Of course, just set up our defense. But as soon as they got wiped out by Arsenal, Purple Dominary, Opus Day, Infinix Reborn, I believe, popped up as well earlier in Scarlet Palace. So when they just entered that castle earlier, it became harder for Nemesis Armada and Nonsense to defend their own castle. Yes. But Nem- but Nonsense is back here in Bamboo Grove Hill though. Yes. Um, I think they're just gonna move on FIFA right now. Mm-hmm. What? Where? P4. Oh, that's. Yeah, this one. That's Scarlet. That's Scarlet, though. But. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, this is Ban- Bamboo Grove Hill. Bamboo Grove Hill is a uh, tree, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, that's a uh, five. Curse Circle? Five. Okay, but Curse Circle will land, of course, but no follow up damage here coming from uh, Arsenal to rather take down. 
the nonsense players who are here, but Arsenal is going to lose some members while this rune knight from nonsense I think is hitting uh, their target just quickly. Yes. Um I just want to comment like like for the uh, what do you call this, the emblem. Mm -hmm. I think there's an advantage and disadvantage like turning off the emblem as well. Uh, for the disadvantage I think it's really tough to uh what do you call this? Like what? Huh? I mean turning off the emblem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, if you're gonna be on the offensive side, if you're gonna do an offense, it's really hard to uh, see the members as well, the positioning of the members, especially if they're in a good cell or in a bad cell, for example. Though I know that uh, most of the players are using the party, uh, the party tab, just to heal and and to do things and so on. Yeah, but I think having the emblems as well um, on every time can actually uh, provide a good um, confidence for the members as well especially mm -hmm. on the movement like you will know like specifically where is your members like if your suras are already uh, calling a curse circle on the ma on a massive stack that's actually a good uh, sign that you have your one of your emblems there and you saw the curse circle and all so yeah I think that's one of the I think disadvantage of having not turning on the emblem but again I think it's their gameplay so yeah well I can only see yeah both the disadvantages and advantages of it uh, I think uh, I believe it's only one thing it will be harder to spot it can be a disadvantage or an advantage for your guild because yes of course it will be harder for you as well if you are a support and you don't have uh, you're, if you're just an archbishop, for example, just focus on uh, buffing your teammates. Uh, but a lot of your members are not in your party. Like out of range, maybe as well. Yeah, so it it will be harder for you to spot them, uh, knowing that oh, they have here we go. them. But they go back here in uh, Bamboo Grove Hill. Of course, they have a decent defense Sword setup. Right Sword just trying their luck to go in. Classical pull up, cast it on the floor. Nemesis Armada and... Uh, nonsense are just uh, pouring down heavy firepower in the portal of this castle so as soon as arsenal just exited this castle they just quickly went in and yes. set up their defense uh here at this portal yes it's actually a good setup like the only option that we have right now is either go right side here near at the gx pot here or go north side so if Arsenal can actually repeat their performance earlier the the Guya um, push that they did. It could actually uh, be a good push here coming from them. But if, mm -hmm. if they're not gonna use their Guya, I think they're gonna have a hard time on uh, pushing as well. Mm -hmm. But it, they can use that if they can survive the firepower that Nemesis Armada and Nazis are dishing out. <clears throat> as yes. you can see, they have they also have that as a that a severe rainstorm casted on the floor right there which can provide extra firepower aside from the arrow storms a uh, severe rainstorm is dps yes it lasts for quite a while and uh they have those storm gusts and meteor storms casted okay. on the ground they also have that deter casting that volcanic ash okay, on the floor go. so that makes it uh, the fire attacks a lot stronger there uh, against the opponents who are stepping all that volcanic ash as nemesis armada some of their members got wiped out from the right side and uh, that arsenal member is just holding on strong here yes. at the portal but well, uh, <laughs> no no that's from nonsense and th oh, that's nonsense. The, that's the ign that i told you about oh. earlier okay kick yum is the one who's uh, sustaining it but arsenal and can, uh, you can turn off the effects for a little bit right now maybe you can uh, spot that guy just stacking all the damage that uh, I think everyone is okay. dishing out. Yeah, so that's a royal guard coming from Arsenal, but he will get wiped out immediately because of the firepower that uh, Nonsense and Nemesis Armada are dishing out. Yeah, but I think not Arsenal has a plan. I believe they have a plan to take this defense out. Again, they don't have vacuums casted um, between them. Yes. They don't have manholes as well, so they can get pushed really, really easily. By, uh, by the opposing team. Mm -hmm. So if a purple dominari decides to join in on the push of Arsenal, that will be a little bit dangerous for Nemesis Armada and 
nonsense right now. Yes. But uh, what's okay? The problem of Nemesis Armada and Nonsense Ooh. is that they take a very very long time to regroup. And yes. suicidal destruction getting casted by Nonsense right there. We can turn out the effects back on. I think MG. I think they managed to uh, lose a couple of players there. I think that um. RK, I believe, the one that's doing the uh, the bowling bash, managed to connect to two to, to three players on the left side, and yeah, I think what's missing right now on the defense of <coughs> Nemesis and Nonsense right now is the GX right now. I think they have the the they have the magic uh, damage up and running, but for the physical, I think GX is actually can uh, or the GX can actually cover that for them. Yeah, they don't have a physical melee attack. They have long range physical like the Dragon's Breath, the Arrow Storms, the Severe yeah. Rainstorm. But they don't have anyone to maybe they have that Sura on the on the back. Like, I think but like how many Suras do they have? Like one? Uh I only can only see Ooh, one. Oh, one. Yeah. I can only see one. Maybe the other Sura is scouting. Or just hiding there beside I don't know, I'm not sure. Yeah. And, and to be fair, I really like the composition right now on what they're doing. Like, these two guilds right now, Nonsense and, Nemes uh, Nonsense and Nemesis Armada, they play really uh, well. And uh, most of their strategy oh. really sinks in. Oh. Okay, so I think right now, you have your... Uh, There's a Rune Knight okay. though. Oh, Curse Circle! Curse Circle though! Oh go. my goodness. Let's go but, to uh... see a follow-up here. You have the Mado yes. here. I think the, the Mado is not pushing well on this side. And another curse circle. And we got caught as well. And uh, we have an RG coming from Arsenal 1. Arsenal is down. Two Arsenal is down. And right now they're just sweeping the Arsenal members here on this castle. And I think Nonsense and Nemesis mm -hmm. Armada is showing how the defense should be in this uh in this castle so i think that they're doing pretty uh well on this one a good combination of defense coming from these two guilds and uh yeah i think they managed to sustain everything there yes good job and uh it's a little bit confusing to watch nonsense of course uh with their attacks and defense because again the the no emblem part is really confusing <laughs> Maybe they're so used to it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're just used to it, and uh, you know, okay, let's just play like this because this is mm -hmm. this is our trademark. <laughs> but sometimes you turn it on, though. But that's only sometimes. Uh, I'm not sure when, why they turn it on for a bit, then turn it off back again. <laughs> yes, I'm not. I'm not really sure why they do that, though. But anyway, uh, they have a pretty solid defense right there, but. They can get pushed rather quickly. Again, in the right side, a member of Arsenal just quickly got yep. in onto the right side. Like what's okay, happening here right we go. now? Just trying to survive. Oh, again. Oh, an Arsenal member already got in. Look at the stack there. Ignition break getting casted on the on the side there on the stack there of Nemesis Armada and Nonsense. Oh, and look oh, at the bowling bash. Bowling bash. Break. Everyone is getting wiped out. The no more backlane players at the side of Nemesis Armada <laughs> and Nonsense and look at the other players there of Nemesis they not really moving now. they're not really moving look at the range they're not really casting oh, anything right now but Goons will be going in again as well they took the opportunity to Goons strike right while now? Arsenal is busy Goons? right now on at the attack against uh, Nemesis Armada and Nonsense but the goons are just trying to barely survive right here oh, and they fun. will get a hold nonsense right now just going in going back in casting that magnetic earth and arsenal now has the opportunity to strike where when the iron Woo. is hot of course in this castle nonsense has the chance to defend along with nemesis armada but it will take some time for them to set up their defense and i think nonsense cannot do it alone uh, Nemesis Armada needs to regroup, so I think they are going to give away this castle. But if they do have a defense, mm -hmm. that's going to be very unusual for Nonsense because they rarely do that, put mm -hmm. up a second defense. Uh, so I'd like to see them uh, do uh, put up a second defense yes. for this castle if they ever do that. Yep, but again, um, good... Um... A good push there coming from Arsenal that bowling bash punishing like 
several players uh, on the stack with the curse circle connecting as well and uh, we saw guns as well taking the opportunity on doing a quick clash as well while the uh, the clash is really hot earlier but again arsenal they know what to do they know how to play and they know who's to focus during that time i really like how they uh, managed to uh to in uh do the endurance through all throughout that fight and right now arsenal just uh standing here and just waiting for the next uh match for mm -hmm. this um, defense yes and uh they nonsense since nemesis armada went to scarlet palace so i believe they don't have any plans on defending bamboo grove Hill any longer yes i think god um to be fair on uh, they have a good uh, they have a good lineup they have a good uh head count right now if they can manage to uh like go into a map where there is a choke point that they can take advantage of i think mm -hmm. that defense could actually be really uh really good or it will really play a good uh it will really play good with them on their current mm -hmm. setup because earlier that map is kind of open you have a lot of options either you go uh you go north side or right side or left side you're mm -hmm. open right yes. so if you're if you have those numbers if you're you know your strengths you need to limit the options for your enemy either you go at the middle or you go uh or if you go straight or you go on an L choke so that's the only mm -hmm. two options that you need to have just in case you want to eliminate the, the options for your enemies yes yeah uh, nonsense and nemesis armada in Scar are in scarlet of course uh, last nightmare is busy they're in sacred palace uh, holy shadow is uh, occupied by dominari so we can visit that castle as well <coughs> later on or the defending the, the guilds that the guilds are defending so we can uh briefly see their defense so that they can uh, get spotted on stream all right <laughs> yeah so here we go again guys we have another map um this is um scarlet palace so again this is what we're talking about um this is a an open field uh, map so it gives you a lot of options to move around the map especially with that rk we saw that earlier james right that RK managed to uh, go to the staff of Nemesis Armada and Nonsense and punishing most of the back lanes. So they need to be careful on that one. Yes. Alright, so we have some questions here in the comment section um, from uh, Wins Koi. What's the difference between back then and now? Uh, what do you mean by back then and now? Though? Ragnarok Online? or GGH so can you elaborate more on that question sir good evening how many gigabytes if you download it I'm going to download it today around that's I think it's around three, three gigabytes uh, let, let, let me double check <laughs> I'm curious as well because I think the last time I downloaded it was around three gigabytes how about you MD you know? um not sure I forgot like, you want me to check it right now? <laughs> I like know, the file I'm, size? I'm going to check it. Okay, okay. I'm going to check it. Okay, so going back, guys. Well, James is checking that for us. Okay, one of the Arsenal members managed to go to the stack, but they responded quickly on that attack. And right now, I think Nonsense and um, Nemesis Armada is pretty aware on what's going to happen next year. So that's mm -hmm. why they've been moving really quick on a certain uh, spot of their defense. And I really yes. like this. They managed to divide their forces. Nemesis, uh, Nemesis Armada on the left side and Nonsense mm -hmm. on the right side dividing their forces making their forces much easier to uh, command so okay so let's go ahead and yeah. check if Arsenal can actually contest this defense again yes so uh, for to answer your question Ray the installer is 2 gigabytes exactly <laughs> and uh, of course there is a patch inside uh, like, or when you install it there is a patch so maybe it's around 2.2 Three or when you unpack it or after you install it maybe it will be around 3.2 or 3.6 gigabytes all in all yeah download but the installer now. is only 2 gigabytes though so yeah I download it now and uh, join in on the game Plus, maybe if you want to participate in the exhibition match exhibition you have match a team. Bro, yeah. 
Yeah, oh, you still yeah. have time to register if you can level your character to 1 to 120 in a few days, of course. But Arsenal, while I was talking, uh, yeah, just uh, pen penetrated the defense here of Nonsense and Nemesis Armada. I think Arsenal already has a de um, an idea of the defense of yes. Nonsense and uh, Nemesis Armada. So yes. that they can attack very, very quickly and properly. Yep. Mm. And at uh, the same time, I think uh, they need to connect that um, Mandragorod Saulin. Mm -hmm. Every time that they see a massive um, push from Arsenal, just to prevent them on uh, doing a ma massive cast on uh, on them. So I think that could really help. And again, Nemesis and Nonsense choosing an open map for their defense. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why they keep on choosing those types of map, but if I'm gonna be on their shoes, I would definitely choose a uh, a much like small in back um, spots to uh, prevent those um, Guyak rushes from Arsenal. Yeah, you, you, they can cast those skills like uh, vacuums and manholes to stop yeah. the, the the enemy from pushing in very very quickly. And Ray, you can download that download the game at ro.genjoy.asia. Uh, just uh, go to that site, then download the game. All right. Yeah, and make sure to follow the page as well. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of um, events that's currently happening, especially uh, with the upcoming event on uh, ESGS as well. So it's been a while for for several, I think, years that. Uh, years that have passed it's finally you know uh, it's finally not that uh, we have a LAN event for for Ragnarok so it's been a while and it, it always brings that nostalgic vibe for the classic Ragnarok players uh, for if you you know if you have been with Ragnarok for more than five or more than six years you know that Yes, all right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, said okay. in Ragnarok before is much more competitive than today from what I have seen. Well, there are different depends, levels of competitiveness. <clears throat> um, before, it was only classic and transcendent. Right now, it's third job. So it's much more different. Uh, the level of competitiveness is much more different <clears throat> as to well. Uh, again, in third job, the competition is um, a lot different than what... <clears throat> you guys are used to of course if you are used to it that classic or transcendent Trans, yeah um third job is a lot different because you can't really stack up because of the additional skills that you need to take note of the 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 characters the hp the damage the items also you need to take note of the items as well <coughs> so it's a lot more different the level of competitiveness <coughs> that you need to get used to um but of course Competitive. If you are competitive, you are still competitive. It's just it just differs on the level that you are, you know, aiming for. Yes, and I just want to add as well uh, on what James said, because uh, before I believe there is like like only like two to three builds that you can actually do on certain classes, right? So you only have like one build. You can uh, you can always go for the meta build, or if you want to be unique, you're gonna opt out into a certain build plus the item choices are very limited right for armors you yes. can or for the weapons you can always go for hydra because hydra cards are for the human mm -hmm. that's actually the the basic item yes. where uh people are just going uh are i mean purchasing for their weapons but mm -hmm. right now for their job there's a lot of items to, to be considered there's a lot of items to be used on specific scenarios so I think, yes. um, speaking of competitiveness, I think the meta right now or the third job right now is is harder compared before, because before you only have like a, a linear item uh, builds where uh, where in for the third job from time to time right now they've been releasing uh, several items plus the shadow gears as well. So it actually make or it can actually make the the scene a different thing to uh, look at compared to the old meta or old Ragnarok so I think yes. the competitiveness right now is really hard mm -hmm. compared to before 
That's yes, and it, uh, if you are basing the competitiveness in Warf Imperium, this is just Warf Imperium. If uh, you want to see, really see a um, really much more competitive battle, uh, Ragnarok Asia Masters is uh, the thing for you. Uh, of course, you'll be seeing a lot of uh, players compete at a high level. Ragnarok high level gameplay, that's where you can see the competition really begins. Of course, uh, I'm going to take this time to announce, of course, the Ragnarok Asia Masters 2022 MG. So, Gravity yes. Game Hub or GGH and Gravity Game Link GGL presents Ragnarok Online Guild Exhibition Tournament. Of course, Ragnarok Asia Masters 2022, previously known as GVG Tournament or Guild vs. Guild Tournament, is a battle between two teams of seven members each. 16 teams from GGH, that's Malaysia, Singapore, and Philippines, and will face. 16 oh. teams from GGL and GGL is from Indonesia. So guys, stay tuned for more information coming up. Of course, uh, make sure to follow the page. Make sure to join the ROGGH Discord. Of course, we are uh, Team GGH since uh, we are GGH Let's for now. Go. <laughs> Let's Team go. Team GGH, first. Team GGH represent. Um, and yeah, GGH versus GGL. Of course, uh, that's now the chance to cheer for your teams, cheer for your favorite players. If you know teams from GGL competing, um, yeah, they can also, um, um, you know, uh, <laughs> watch the stream and uh, participate in the chat that we are doing. <laughs> and, and yeah, it will be fun. It will be fun watching these teams compete in Ragnarok Asia Masters 2022. And... Yeah, the, 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 the price though, right? Dude, the price is like insane though. Like, it's been a while to see that kind of price pool in a land tournament, especially for Ragnarok. Yes. Yes. Alright, and the teams are really going to compete at a high level. And I'm not sure why they place skid traps on the floor. It's not gonna work in Warframe. <laughs> Maybe they're just trying it, bro. Oh, the Super Novice is dropping it, man. Like, Ah, okay. So I think he doesn't have any skills. He's just using those skip traps. At least. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing something. I think he's doing something. Yeah. So that's the job you need to aim for, a super novice. Can this reach 120? That's already 150, I think. Oh. That's. I think that's a max level super novice. And what okay. I like about super novice is that you can have a lot of versatility in your skills. Yep. But of course, we we're, we're going to have a bit of a battle here. That uh, Rune Knight is just using that. Uh, this is the we we don't see this type of Rune Knight build that often. Yes. The ignition break bowling bash, the one using a two-handed sword instead of the the dragon's breath build. So we don't usually see a DPS uh, or a, um, a ignition break build Rune Knight. Yep. And I think it's working for them on their side. Um, yeah, especially because it's if, melee, it's melee damage. If they manage to uh, plant it uh, to the staff, they can actually break it, or they can, or he can actually punish the players. Okay, so right now in Phoenix Reborn, trying to contest Arsenal. Arsenal right now is just trying to roam around. You need to be careful, because in Phoenix has a flag warp on this one. I think uh, Ars most of the Arsenal is decided to break this right now. In Phoenix right now on the uh, edge here, trying to regroup. A curse circle managed to connect. Dragon's breath. Oh, connect there. Right. Oh, I think uh, uh, yeah, Phoenix Arsenal right is now. just uh, they've been chasing guilds right now. Uh huh. And I think they they just want to target. They really wanted to wanted to target nonsense in Nemesis Armada a while ago. Because they've been chasing them around, I think, right? Yes. And it's mm. been a while since we saw them, you know, outside and doing GBGs as well. So I really miss um, Nemesis Armada's, you know, um, aggressiveness. But I hope that they can actually match again against with Dominari again. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. Because uh, that matchup is really nice. Alright. So, Kane here. Before 
uh, we got the first and third job release and warfare also rwc is the RO masters going to be the same like rwc before <coughs> it's similar it's <coughs> similar and uh yeah it's seven versus seven so yeah it's similar <laughs> yeah that's all i can say it's similar um, it's actually similar yes yeah, it's similar uh, no. but it's their job and uh yeah just take a look at the mechanics uh, so you'll know that what items are included what uh like the amount of zenny the amount of zenny uh, yeah. that you can use to purchase NPCs. items mm -hmm. yeah. all right and the level of course uh <coughs> i think you can only go up or the characters will be only at level 135 yeah 135. the job 50 so you need to plan out your skills really <laughs> properly uh, you will only have limited amount of zenny as well and the uh, amount of items that you will buy will have a specific amount so you need to check that as well okay, all right we so you need to plan things out of course if you are participating in uh, a 7v7 or a ragnarok asia masters exhibition yes. match uh, either uh, both in uh, esgs or here in uh, ragnarok asia masters 2022 where you are Going, it's going to be GGH versus GGL, right? Okay. So, um, for exhibition match in ESGS, it will be practically be the same mechanics, right? Yes, so you just mechanics. need to you can you can have a taste, you can have a, a glimpse and a taste of what uh, it feels like to participate in a high level situation, high level gameplay match against, uh, of course, similarly skilled players. But ooh, ooh, what suicide destruction eliminated yes. around. 40% of goons right there, but of course goons are trying to hold up right now, but Purple Dominari is going to be here. Infinix they were just trying to take the opportunity to strike, but they don't have enough numbers to actually attack Arsenal currently. But what a nice suicidal, suicidal destruction there coming from Arsenal. Yes. And to be fair, James, I really like how Arsenal is playing this game right now. They've been showing up to one fight, to another fight, to another fight. I think they just want to get the experience that they they, they want right now and they just want to enjoy the Warp Imperium. This is the, the, the goods that I really want to see uh, way back a uh, few sessions ago. The goods that's been, uh, you know, popping fights, um, the defense as well, no hesitation on push. That's the, uh, the goods that I really miss. Um, same goes with Arsenal. Arsenal is, they actually played um, a solid defense in school goal and right now they're out and uh, ready to fight and to face other girls right now. Not Dominaria of course, but still, they're facing uh, nonsense, Nemesis Armada and Goons as well on, their, on our current matches. Yes, and... Uh, I'm not sure where Nonsense and, ne and Nemesis Armada are at right now. <coughs> Maybe they went back to... Bamboo Grove Hill or Scarlet or Ho and Chuang Go. Mm -hmm. Because Fad with is uh, really overcrowded right now with a lot of people in phase 3 4 Arsenal, Dominari, uh, Goons. Who else is here? Uh, yeah, this actually two gets on Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, but outside the castle, outside. we have Infinix, we have Goons. And I think Goons is going to offer a different castle right now since they are moving out. I think they're aware that right now, if they're gonna push in on this castle, they're gonna face like. An alliance guild, um, Arsenal and Dominari, right? So, uh, that's actually a normal decision to opt out on a different castle. So, mm -hmm. good decision on the, on the side of Falguns if they don't want to push here. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah, and the the defense there of Arsenal is in Dominari. We've seen in it, we've seen it a lot, yeah. right? And it's a really, it's a really hard defense to penetrate. You need, you just need a lot of players to actually um, break the defenses of these skills. Mm -hmm. And uh, them defending Fad Grid together is going to be really a mess for the attackers, especially when they don't have enough gears to survive and uh, consumables to, you know, pull them out in dangerous situations. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, right now, like Arsenal just just they just want to have fun right now. I think, mm -hmm. and I think uh, for the past one hour and twenty one minutes, they've been really enjoying the matches right now. 
one defense they managed to fail uh, uh, an attack but still couple of um, tries they managed to uh, penetrate the defense of um, Nemesis and Nonsense mm -hmm. and same goes with Nonsense and Nemesis I mean I think they're just trying to improve their chemistry right now mm -hmm. and so far uh, I think it's really working yeah it's really working Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are just waiting outside, maybe waiting or checking out if they are going to really enter this castle or opt for a different castle right now. Yes. But we only have 37 minutes remaining for our current War of Imperium session. And uh, this is now the time for me to push out the promotions the and uh, yes. my promos and the events that we have currently in the game. MG, right now, I'm going to uh, do the... Uh, what they say in Discord, the egg reveal. Of course, that's the Nightmare Egg. Oh. Nightmare Egg is still available in the cash shop and it will only last until the 13th of October. Obtain special items like the sealed Edgar card, Gambler Seal, or the exclusive Evil Druid Cross costume. Okay? Ooh. So it will only last anti until the 13th of October before the maintenance. So. Uh, next Thursday we'll have a uh, new egg, new egg, egg reveal. <laughs> new egg reveal. Alright. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the next one we have, of course, and that is what makes life easier for everyone mm -hmm. in uh, doing the board quest. So the Sally Port in Eden Room now offers teleport service to various dungeons and it's the dungeon teleport update. I believe you need Eden coins for that one, as I was told. Oh. I haven't tried it yet, but I will try it out eventually. Yeah. So you can use your Eden coins to use the new dungeon teleporter, Saliport. Saliport. Alright. <laughs> I like the name though, Saliport. Saliport. Uh -huh. Sally, can you port? Yes, I can. Uh, uh, Alright. Yeah, Sally teleport. Yes. Hmm. Okay, uh, what? Uh, where are the players though? What happened to them? Uh, Goons right now, Infinix is here. I'm not sure if they're gonna attack on this one. Yeah, I'm going to also check on different castles. Uh, Purple Dominaria, I think it's just waiting in uh, inside the, what do you call this? The Holy Shadow right now. Okay. So I believe they're just going to I think yeah, they're just do their own thing. They're doing yeah, I'm not sure if they're going to like push in or just wait it out. Uh, Bright Arbor, maybe Nonsense is here. I think they are. Oh yeah, okay. So Bright Arbor. Nonsense is here, Bright Arbor. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So you can... You can go here. And uh, check it out. Again, uh... Not just the Nemesis Armada, with them joining together is a little bit dangerous for the opposing kills. But they need to work on their defense a little bit since it's, it always gets penetrated really, really quickly. Yes. Maybe they can move back closer or move to a different choke point that they can defend. Yes, I agree. If they are going to do a portal defense here in Bright Arbor, there's a better <laughs> spot that you, you can up for a portal defense and that's in the third portal so yeah here with them here at the entrance they're not even going back to de defend that third spot or third portal yes. so it's all or nothing for them I think. yeah it's kind of like all or nothing for nonsense and nemesis armada but so they need to defend this castle really well if they want to really get a castle until the next or for the end of the session. Yes, but I think I, I'm I'm getting the idea right now of uh, Nemesis and Nonsense. Mm -hmm. Maybe the reason why they want to defend it on the portal because if they manage to lose like one or two members, those two members can actually run back immediately. Like mm -hmm. one portal, bam, they're uh, they're set for the defense. Again. And right now, uh, a good adjustment here coming from Nemesis and uh, Nonsense here, putting like um, ankle snares. Making sure that uh, they're trying to limit the options. That's what it's I. Your that's, favorite skill. That's what I like right now. They 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 are adjusting. They're trying to adapt on the current map. 
right? That, Again, that, that that was that was your favorite skill. Yeah, that was my. But favorite not skill. anymore. You yep. moved on to yep. gunslinger skills. Yep. Yeah, All going right. back again. Good job coming from uh, Nemesis in the uh, nonsense, trying to limit uh, limiting the option of the enemy on certain movements on the map. Um, having those additional anchors, actual snares can actually uh, can can delay the players, can actually hold the players as well on those positions, and then they can actually punish those players right away if they have like a good amount of suras. But right now, I think. Uh, what's lacking on, on, on this lineup is the Suras and GX. If they can mm -hmm. put like three more Suras for a ground control that PC uh, Gates of Hell and um, Extremity Face that could really, really um, help them a lot for a quick punch off on the uh, attackers. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's called Guillotine Fist. <laughs> oh, Guillotine Fist. <laughs> <laughs> Where did we hear about it? Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that was back then, or <laughs> yeah, because I was like the 2005. Uh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Sorry, anyway, though, because <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was um, a, uh, an uh, an old player as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, the class. Well, one. while they are defending this castle, though. Yeah. Um. Yeah. How's your gunslinger leveling going, dude? Andy? Okay, <clears throat> honest, honest answer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I really want to re-roll. Cause what? yeah, I want to re-roll. Why? Cause I really mm -hmm. wanted to join the the exhibition match. Ah. I, I'm dead serious about the, uh, the I'm dead serious about the exhibition match. I hope they can actually pick me. I oh. hope, I really hope that they can pick me. Mm -hmm. So well, I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Uh, trying to level up. My character, yeah, I'm um, getting uh, stuck on uh, Stapo, yeah. It's really hard <laughs> But to what's definite up. though, MG, is no. you're going to be at ESGS. Um, yes, definitely, I'll yes. be there. MG is going to be at ESGS, I'm going to be at ESGS. So, who knows if we'll <coughs> be competing, but... Guys, uh, yeah, for those who's watching right now, if you see a guy who's wearing a pouring shirt with, with uh, long bangs, that's me. And if you are lacking one member, on your party for ESGS exhibition match, please, please, I'm begging, pat me. I'm willing no, to play No, 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 your description <laughs> of yourself is lacking as well. Yeah. yeah you, uh, the guy gets... with, a, with a pouring shirt, long bands with a lot of fans. Yeah, that's MD. Yeah, yeah. Dude, pick All me. Right. If you're watching right now, if you're only six players, I'm your seventh player. Please. Uh, <laughs> DM me, I'm All available right. on this one as well. <laughs> <laughs> What, uh, but yeah, actually, um, it's the time. It's the time for you to level up. Yeah. And uh, I believe it's now the chance for our players to level up as well. Because, yes. again, the new costumes are really something. A lot of players, you know, uh, mm -hmm. I think some of the players are really keen on making uh, all of the characters that they're in the Ragnarok or the, the Ascend, the next level event. So can we actually show that? banner for a bit the uh, so i'm going to explain the level new the ascend the next level oh, event like this one? so level new characters and change to eligible classes uh, is it here oh yeah uh level new characters <laughs> and uh, change to eligible classes to get rewards when you reach transcended transcended class base level 80 so this event will last until the 13th of November and it just started last Thursday, October 6th. So yeah, it's now your chance to make new characters, to level, to be the, the next. next level. <laughs> I know you're gonna right. say that. To ascend <laughs> to the next level. Okay, next. okay, I like, I like it, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. James and NG wanna level with us next week. We're making new characters. I'm go. I'm down for it. I don't know, MG. Maybe he's still busy with this uh, gunslinger. No, no. <laughs> it's over. It's over. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Yeah, Michelle can join us as well. Okay. Should, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, just pick me, Kai. Don't pick MG. Oh my goodness. Michelle, can you speak in English? I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm translating. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine, that's fine though, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, going back to the fight. Um, so Arsenal is getting a help on uh, on the on that push. Dominaria as well is joining the fight versus the 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 duo guild, which is the nonsense and Nemesis Armada. So if they have like a duo defense, of course we have a duo attack with uh, Arsenal and Dominari. Mm -hmm. And right there, uh, we saw a uh, good penetration there coming from these two guilds. They managed to uh, eliminate immediately the backlane of the defenders. And from there, they just snowballed to wiping everyone. Good yes. job. Good job, guys. Yes, good job to the guilds. And uh, knowing the defense of Nonsense Nemesis Armada, they are not going to defend this. <laughs> Maybe they are going to move a different to a different castle. <laughs> I'm not sure what their purpose is. Maybe they are saving on consumables as well. That's why they don't really want to participate in long, um, crucial battles against other guilds. But anyway, we have comments right here. Let's go, MG. Create party, said, said Raymond. Oh, G. So it's That's now G. time for MG to create a party. So maybe you can create a party, MG's party versus James' party. We can level it out. One day leveling, of course, just reach uh, transcend level 80. <laughs> Oh, well, that yeah. would be nice, though. That yeah, would be yeah. nice. Is, We're is, going to is, do our is, own competition. Are you, are you challenging me to have like? We, a, we should we should set a date for that, like though. A, a leveling race. Oh, is, is, we're going is, to have our own level race. Yeah. Our party level yeah. race, just just for bragging rights. <laughs> <laughs> just for. Yeah. Yeah, but but we're only limited to use maybe a premium <clears throat> and manuals, no neon vines or something. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so we we can schedule wait, something wait, like we, that. We cannot use Yang vines. No, 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 don't no, don't use Niang vines, of okay. course. All right, we should uh, we should schedule something like that where <laughs> both of us are streaming. What do you say about that, guys? Should you are you interested in watching a James versus MG Devil Race <laughs> event? That will be really grinding, though, but. Like two screens, right? Two screens. Two screens. Two screens. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be beside that's each gonna other. Be lit, bro. Just choose what you want to watch. Yeah. Yeah, we can, We should try that thing. Just like, yeah. 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 Plus yeah, the yeah. Uh, overlay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. There, there's a new thing I want to yeah, try yeah. out. Let's just try that out. Yeah. Okay. The one I talked to you about. All right. Uh, maybe Kai is willing to join in as well as the referee. <laughs> the referee. <laughs> Not really. Maybe it's Wait, Kai, which party the, are you gonna join? I'm gonna do the leveling event if Kai is gonna turn on the camera and he's gonna join the stream with us. I'm, I'm, Maybe. I'm, I'm really down for that, but we need Kai. At oh, no, 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 Th that's the time for us to interview Kai. Yeah. That's our yeah. own uh, Tofi talk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, Let's though, uh, last nightmare, of course, here in Secret Palace, <laughs> but I think we didn't. Uh, Check out the defense of Dominari there in Holy Shadow, so we can check that yeah, out right now. Though mm -hmm. they're just at the entrance, <clears throat> so it will be MG's party versus James' party. <clears throat> okay, Ooh. I'm pretty sure MG will have a lot of oh, partners. Dude, like they need to be careful, man. Like if they're oh. holding this for for. You know? Oh no, maybe they have defense inside, so yeah, maybe Red Dominar is already inside though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh I'm just I think a lot of people I'm MG go MG on. if you are going to level. Yeah. If you are going to level, I think a lot of people will be interested in uh joining your party. Dude, I I'm really bad at parties. Like if if I have a chance to AFK, I will AFK bro. <laughs> mm, really? <laughs> I mean, so you it are, depends, it so depends. you like want to level on your own base. Oh no, you would no, get no, 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 kicked no, 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 really, no. really quickly like, in parties, like, though. Like, if I have the chance to like uh -huh. just sit and just follow, like do do and play like one hand, I would really take that mm. advantage. But oh yeah, but if Scarlet it's, Palace, uh, Scarlet Palace, MG. But if there's a like a big fight, I would really gonna be like dead serious on it. Yeah, so you prefer the fights and not the grinding leveling? Really? Yeah. I'm more But in, uh, uh But the 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 journey is uh better than the 
<laughs> what do you what, what's the same? <laughs> <laughs> It's not the journey. The, it's not the journey. It's not the journey. The no. The it's not the result. <laughs> the, the, the the journey is better than the destination. All right. Something. Like journey is better than the destination. Oh my goodness. Journey is better than destination. <laughs> yeah. The journey is better than the destination. Ah, okay. 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 All right. Who's okay. Journey, bro? Like, I got that right. Okay. Who's journey? Who's, Who's journey destination? Is <laughs> journey is better than destination. Oh yeah, okay. I think uh, that's what matters, of course. The leveling yeah. is also part of the experience. So, yeah, you get to have fun unless you are the type of person who grinds like 60 hours yeah. um, in a single, in a single uh, yes. uh, sitting, though. Piece of advice, guys, for those uh, who's trying to reroll or trying to join, don't go for a gunsling. Trust me, because there's limited <laughs> map. There's only limited maps that can go, and you can even go oh. to Matrix. So hey, uh, uh. <laughs> better be okay. choose. Okay, I, I'm going okay. to comment more about that later on. But okay. uh, as you can see, Dominari is now going to push on. Uh, well, the, the defense fights, of Nonsense and Nemesis are modded, they are trying to survive here, but uh, Dominari is just going in on Come the stack there of Nonsense, Ooh. not really hitting the mark as Nonsense is getting uh, yeah, damaged so heavily by Dominari right there at the side, but you can see That's here insane. that Dominari already got close, they're already in the stack there of Nonsense and Nemesis Armada, they and they are just back hitting the back lane uh, heavily. As you can see, not a lot of players of nonsense or nonsense are just attacking that royal guard of Dominari. Oh. It's still surviving, he's still alive. I'm not sure why some of them are not moving. At the, as you can see, the sorcerer there at the side, yes. that royal guard as well, uh, that rune knight as well at the side. I'm not sure. I'm not What's sure happening? They're moving, man. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> They could have wiped that royal guard easily, but uh, uh, I'm not sure what's happening. But yes, uh, okay. classical pluck is now down. Dominari, I think, already took out the ensemble right there, as oh. they will have their defense penetrated right here, as they will get wiped out by this ranger coming from purple Dominari. Here we go. Let's uh, go. Nonsense. Let's go. I I'm not sure, MG, what happened to the defense there. Of okay. nonsense, of nonsense, because they are not do really moving. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, I was I was really like stunned by that, uh, <laughs> by that ranger. And yes, you're correct. I don't know what happened on that uh, on that defense. Like, we saw like couple of players right uh, earlier that's not moving at all, um, and. At the same time, yes, that um, Royal Guard, I think that's a Royal Guard earlier, right? Um, that's actually yes. wiping uh, the rest of uh, Nonsense and Nemesis Armada. So I think uh, maybe they just went for a quick blue or something. Maybe that's why they're not moving. Or, uh, yeah, and no one was actually hitting. No one was actually hitting that Royal Guard coming and, from Nonsense and the Nemesis Armada though. Yeah, and at the same time, the, uh, the, the regroup, we're talking about this earlier. Like one of the best reasons why they selected a uh, uh, an entrance defense is where in they can regroup on that spot immediately, but the regroup is not on spot as well. So I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe uh, some of them are like just maybe they just went to the lure or something. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, speaking of uh, what happened earlier, though, MG. Yo. Um, this is the new MG now, guys. Before, Talk to me, bro. Talk to me, bro. before MG encouraged you all to make gunslingers. Right now, he's discouraging you all. No, 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 Don't I'm make not. gunslingers now, dude, guys. Dude, I, I'm, I'm not discour uh, discouraging them or, or, or something. Like to be fair, gunslinger is really fun. It's really fun. Uh -huh. It's really fun, right? But mm -hmm. again, you're talking about GGH. And if you talk about GGA, there's a lot of maps to explore, right? Uh -huh, Not uh -huh. only yes, on, yes. The, on the 99 level, but if you want to maximize the server, you need to create a, uh, a third job in order for you to explore the map and at the same time the monsters as well. 
Okay, yes. So and uh, yeah. speaking of new things, though, speaking of new things, okay. I'm not sure <laughs> if you didn't join the ROGGH Discord. I think it was is the spoiling releasing some uh, new things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think that was earlier today or yesterday. Mm-hmm. I think he 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 made some leaks. <laughs> Who? Who did uh, the leaks? Spoiling, for I think that was spoiling though. So oh. yeah, that's the disadvantage if you're not active in the ROGGH Discord, you won't get to know the leaks. But anyway, um. Yeah, it's 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 pouring, it's pouring, pouring. Yeah, pouring. Pouring was the one who sent the sent the the leaks. But anyway. Anyway, let's go. Uh, yeah, I'm checking out the different castles right now. If people are actually defending, oh, okay. So Bamboo Grove Hill, it's a uh, nonsense in Nemesis Armada. <coughs> Bamboo in Bamboo Hill. Grove Hill. Let me jump there. All right. So if Arsenal and uh. Dominari are really pers- keen on pursuing their guild, just uh, trying to push them out. Maybe it's really the chance for them to do so if uh, they are just scouting every other castle. I think this is now the chance for them to push nonsense out because, again, Bamboo Grove Hill is a castle that we've seen uh, for around three sessions now. It was Adonis versus Arsenal before, yep. and Arsenal has a good experience in <laughs> oh. uh, attacking this castle. This is so they know what to do. Yeah, this is a good defense. This is what I'm talking about. Like a small um, spot wherein the only option is just to move forward. Mm-hmm. I think they can. They uh, this lineup right now that they have, plus the setup that they have right now, would really shine mm-hmm. on the on this. On this area, so mm-hmm. this is a good, uh, sil- good pick for the castle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, the problem with their defense currently, though, MG, mm-hmm. they will have a hard time into going back for the flag warp. Again, the flag warp is outside, and uh, if Arsenal or Dominari or any of the mm-hmm. attackers try uh, or defend that flag warp that they are holding. It will be pretty difficult for Nonsense or Nemesis Armada to go back in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I'm also mm-hmm. trying to check right now though, yeah, MG. Where is, Day? Yeah. where is Opus Day? Where is Opus Day? Where is Infinix Reborn? Where is Fratres? Uh, I, I believe jump. I saw Fratres earlier. Yeah. I can actually jump to the uh, Imperium. Let me uh, go ahead and check that. Yeah, maybe you can actually spot different guilds as well. Yep. So do your own scouting while I do mine. Maybe they are in Jeff Geffen castles. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. As uh, we have a lot of uh, castles open. Of course, here in Warframe Perum, we have twenty castles currently op- open in all four realms, and that is, um, the Pontera Valkyrie realm, Payo and Baldur or Greenwood. Re- Lake Realm, or that's Payon rather. Payon. That's Payon. Yeah. That's uh, Jeffen, Britannia Realm, and Aldebaran, <laughs> Luwina Realm. So, what are the advantages in capturing castles in Warframe Imperium? For those of you guys who aren't aware, Warframe Imperium is a game feature that allows guilds to fight each other in order to conquer castles for their guild to get benefits and special advantages. Captures catch castle castles captured by guilds. Participating in Warframe Imperium spawn treasure chests each day. The boxes spawn in a special room only accessible by the guild leader through the castle and PC. Alright. And uh, that's where you can get the items such as the Emblem of the Sun God, um, Snow Crystal, Wrath of Valkyrie, and much more. Of course, specific to uh, different castles to use to craft uh, quest headgears and or god items. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we and, saw uh, uh, hmm. Aftershock. So I just want to uh, show this to, to our viewers. Mm-hmm. They have a good defense here. Oh, okay. So they are defending uh, a castle in Jeffen. Yes. Uh, though, uh, is it Jeffen or uh, Aldebaran? I think this is Aldebaran though. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, Wurzburg. Wurzburg, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one with the 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 the, the, the land thing in the middle, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so you can go out. So quickly show our viewers though. Go out. 
Okay. Maybe okay. someone is attacking. Oh, no, oh, no, just go. Uh, no one is attacking. Yeah. Oh, the, and this is Hoenn Shuang Go. Okay, so no one's inside Hoenn Shuang Go right now. So, for our breakers out there, <laughs> maybe someone is outside <laughs> or in the entrance though of Hoenn Shuang Go. We're so, I'm not really sure. <laughs> We're actually helping you. I'm just joking. <laughs> Yeah, just a spot the different castles. Of course, a lot of castles are still open. So Opus Day is going to be here. Uh, I believe they are just maximizing on the castles that they can take for their own. Yes. Um, we saw one player from Opus Day uh, moving on uh, uh, Payon. Then the rest mm. are in Britannia. Mm. Okay. So this is Arsenal. I think Infinix Reborn was defending this earlier. That's why uh, Arsenal pushed with the full guild right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Arsenal took a hold of this castle and uh, I believe they are going to take it while Infinix Reborn still has a chance to conquer different castles since we still have 13 minutes left in our current War of Imperium session and while uh, they are doing that, uh, MG, I want to uh, wrap up my promos as well like uh, the Rap, Re Rap, Rap Refined Certificate so you can trade your refined certificates to players by using the new feature wrap refined certificates there will be no more collateral uh, <laughs> trades of course you and uh, you can mode. easily what no more dash no more yeah <laughs> no more collateral <laughs> trades of course you can trade them directly using the wrap refined certificate of course you need to wrap them up before trading them mm -hmm. And I like the picture though, the the the, the yeah. cats. Finally, the Malangdu cats. I think Finally. that's the Malangdu Finally, cats. Finally, bro, like I found them. <laughs> oh, that's Pratres. Finally. Ooh, After okay. Searching. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's Pratres. Uh, we haven't seen much of them. They haven't been participating in fights, so they they were probably busy defending this castle, <clears throat> all for themselves. Um. I think most of them are prioritizing in the economy as well. Yes. Since uh, they're really keen on making their own god items, so maybe some of them are just picking up the items one by one. Yep. Right? And... So just slowly but surely, uh, they are picking up their own items. And their numbers are, to be fair, increasing mm -hmm. as well. So, yeah. I'm very excited for this skill. They've, they've been really consistent. Plus, they know how to uh, do uh, this, the the hidden defense and so on. Hidden yeah. defense. Yeah. <laughs> they just know how to hide themselves well. So uh, now that they are spotted, um, yeah, say hello. <laughs> say hello to Fratres. All right. Okay. So let me just go then and jump since uh, no one's attacking them. Oh wait, mm -hmm. wait. Oh. Okay. So maybe they got them. spotted earlier though. That's why Arsenal already uh, noticed that Fratres is already here in this castle. Arsenal is going oh, to push in. Here. So this is this is their their tension their uh, ignition break uh, rune knight. Yes. So of course he is going to go in, but will not be able to quickly uh, enter because of the, the 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 classical block on the floor right there. But they are setting up on their attack. Arsenal is getting um, set. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, they are casting that storm gas on the floor to prevent Fratres from pushing out to attack their um, group yes. right here. But of course, after they set up their full party, then goes the attack. Oh no! Oh. The classical block! No more classical block on the floor! Defending Arrow got casted by Arsenal. And look at that curse circle! Plus that quick wipe coming from Arsenal, just taking down the defense of Fratres right there. What a quick and nice push coming from yes. Arsenal. <laughs> so I think uh, I'm not sure what happened to the classical block. Um, we just we just uh, saw a solid classical block on that mm -hmm. floor, but yeah. Okay, so right now this is a uh, Scoble. Scoble mm -hmm. is uh, being held by a few members of Goons. I think uh, Goons right now managed to split up their numbers um, to ensure that. <clears throat> oh, maybe they're just holding one castle at the moment. Yes, all right. Um, yeah, 20 castles open because again, <coughs> there are god items. There are god items, you need specific items um, located in different castles. So, if you do want to grab 
the specific items that you need, you need to capture specific castles. Right? <laughs> uh, James, I just want to point this out. Like, mm-hmm. Fratres right now has two rangers. And I really like mm. their rangers because they're doing the work. Like, they've been putting ankle snares from the Imperial. They're your favorites. Yeah, yeah. They've been putting uh, ankle snares from the Imperial up towards to the entrance. But it will get removed, though. Yeah, it will the, get you, removed you see, as, as the soon delay? as they this get that the in. This is the delay that I'm talking about. Uh huh. But it if, can only do so much. Look at that cross reverse ladder okay, okay, just let's eliminating see, let's see. Okay. that ranger. Okay. So wait, you need to fall back. Uh, vanishing you point. Fall back. Look at that ranger okay, will get the eliminated. Can the and the ankle snares okay, are no more. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I told you about. As soon as, soon as the ranger gets eliminated, <laughs> that the trappers or the traps <laughs> that you you placed will get removed immediately. So that's what's uh, hard about placing traps. Yes, but still I... again, you you can use damage traps though. You can use the damage traps yes. that are included in in the ranger. But uh, again, you need specific items for that. You need specific build for that. <clears throat> and uh, I haven't seen a, uh, a trapper ranger. Usually, it goes with the warg. Yeah. Just you see that warg just going in and out placing yeah. traps. But it's really hard to use that in a daily situations mostly used for pvm though yes mm-hmm. but i just want to commend those two rangers they've been putting the traps consistently left and right mm-hmm. one is assigned on the entrance one is assigned on the imperium so they're just trapping from entrance up and they're just trying to meet at the middle <laughs> That's yeah. how, uh, how <laughs> but but they got pushed though they so uh yeah. they get ganked, they got pushed so why yeah, them, anyway. Why them? <laughs> <laughs> but it was really fun uh, seeing yeah, uh, just. It's been a while to see uh, like a ranger who hmm. really knows how to, you know, utilize their skills as well. You know, it's uh, yeah. If you talk about rangers, it's not always damage and so on, but you can always uh, do something for for delaying your enemies uh, for your guild. So yeah. Yeah, but uh, usually the rangers you see in War of Imperium are the Arrow Storm rangers because again they cause so much high high damage DPS that uh, you can really support your teammates when it comes to fights. Yeah. Compared to you know the lock up warg warg builds or maybe the trapper builds if there are any, it's going to be different. It's going to be pretty difficult to pull off yes. in certain situations. Again, with the arrow storms, you can go in and out. Just arrow storm out, arrow storm out, like uh, what most rangers are doing, especially in defending castles. Like in Krem Hill, they use the the portals uh, up top on certain situations. They go out the portals, cast that arrow storm, go back in. Then uh, they just do it repeatedly to yes. eliminate several opponents. Mm-hmm. So yeah, our rangers are. For me, they're very versatile. But again, going back to the uh, the pushes, I think uh, Arsenal. Maybe you want to see a versatile warlock as well with that. Uh... <laughs> Maybe with the okay. Staff. If I the got build. if I got selected on the seven v seven, dude, I'm gonna like trap everything, bro. Like put what? traps in every corner what? of the map. I thought you were uh, you were you were going to use a strength agi warlock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna smash Agilock, it. Agilock Warlock. I'm just gonna create it, uh, create all the way, bro. Uh huh. But anyway, that's going way. to be a weird uh, <clears throat> Warlock build. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we'll see if you participate in 7v7. Yes. But anyway, since we only have five minutes left in our current session, MG. Yes. Um, I think it's time. For- oh no, no, no. Uh, we can. S- we still have uh, time for another promotion, of course. Pouring Island is still up and running. Again, uh, you can join the Pouring Island runs that uh, everyone is doing. Every, um, people are doing every now and then in the ROGGH Discord. So Pouring Island can be accessed up to three times per day. It resets at 4 a.m. daily. First entry is free, while second and third entry requires one and two Pouring Island entry tickets, res- respectively. Yes. Pouring entry, uh, Pouring Island entry tickets cost 150 Kafir points each. They can be bought from the Kafir Cash Shop. Players will be transported out at every sharp hour, so do not enter during then. 
example of sharp hour is 12, 8, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock sharp. There, there's also a roulette show triggered every even hours, and that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. And you'll be able to obtain exclusive costumes such as cost costume, rainbow pouring hat, and consumables through this event. Pouring Island is also a great place to level up yes. for uh, players. I think 140 up or 160 up. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. So the favorite promo of everyone, MG. Yes. Let me uh, do that and uh, let me just pull it off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again guys, we're talking about the Razer <laughs> promotion for October, okay? So from October 1 to October 31st, okay, recharge your G-Enjoy account via Razer Gold Wallet and get in-game items uh, such as Gothic Pumpkin Head costume or Ghost Bat costume for free. Okay, for October promotions, you will get the following for Tier 1, 5,000 uh, 5, KP. Mm -hmm. With Razer Gold Wallet, you can actually score a Gothic Pumpkin Head costume. And for Tier 2, for 3,000 KP, mm -hmm. um, with Razer Gold, you can actually score a Ghost Bat costume. There you go. If you, want to re, uh, if you want to recharge, guys, all you need to do is just go to this website, www.genjoy.asia forward slash top up. Okay, and you can yes. find the promotions, guys, on our Discord in the same time to our official Facebook page. Yes. All right. And whew, this is uh, going to be uh, an exciting event. <laughs> but again, I do want to mention the Ragnarok Asia Masters uh, 2022 again as well. MG, this is one of the events that people are looking forward to and you and me are also looking forward to as well That's i cool. believe a lot of players are also keen into watching what yes. happens in the ragnarok asia masters 22 uh, 2022 again ggh and ggl presents ragnarok online guild exhibition tournament ragnarok asia masters previously known as gvg tournament or guild versus guild tournament this is a battle between two teams of seven members each 16 teams from ggh that is malaysia singapore and philippines will face 16 teams from ggl that is indonesia stay tuned of course for more upcoming information about the ragnarok asia masters 2022 20 by joining the ROGGH Discord, yes. um, being notified, of course, by the Ragnar Online GGH Facebook page, and you can uh, follow us on Twitter as well, Twitter. Ragnar Online GGH on Twitter. Um, I think uh, ROGGH also has an Instagram. Oh. So if oh. you do want to stay notified about everything happening in ROGGH, Make sure you follow all the social media associated with uh, Ragnarok Online GGH. And if you do want to frequent the website r.genjoy.asia, information can be found there as well. TikTok! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I, uh, maybe, maybe uh, you'll right. see. A Ragnarok Online GGH TikTok as well in the near future. Maybe we, you can see MG dancing right there. Do I, do I need to uh, do my? <laughs> <laughs> All right, my, you can see uh... MG dancing right there, though. But anyway, uh, War of Imperium has been a pretty, uh, a, what can I say? A pretty um... <clears throat> for me, a uh, very interesting, and uh, it's it's really nice to see uh, Arsenal playing again on the on the battlefield including goons as well mm -hmm. and uh, a solid defense coming from the the duo guild which is the yeah. nonsense and uh nemesis armada so i think overall like it's it's it brings back the good memories or it brings back <laughs> that uh because we know the, that these four guilds they're they're fight guild like they, uh -huh. they actually just stop for for what for one reason because of the the god items because they just mm -hmm. need to uh, be they just need to play objectively for their economy basically mm -hmm. right but right but now we're, we're seeing them again on, it, on it was fire. like watching a chase 
between um, four different guilds. Mm-hmm. Um, we saw like Arsenal and Dominari chase down our um, nonsense and Nemesis Armada. Sometimes Infinix Reborn is there, but Arsenal is not really just chasing them down. But uh, if they do their own scouting, if they can spot the castle of Infinix Reborn, they actually push them. Same goes for Opus Day. Same goes for Fratres. I believe they get pushed every now and then by different yes. guilds. But for guilds like uh, Nonsense and Nemesis Armada, I believe they are occupying non um, captured guilds, non occupied yes. guilds at the time being. And uh, they defend that before capturing it or b- before pushing in. So, uh, yeah, they take advantage of every, every opportunity. And I believe that's a, g- a great way to participate in Warf Imperium. Yes. At the same time, um, save up your supplies. But uh, also participate in um, fights as well. So, yep. um, I think, I believe Nonsense and Nemesis Armada and are just doing the economic way of yes. dealing or participating in Warf Imperium. MG. Yes, I think uh, it's actually the right thing to do. Um, mm-hmm. Again, if you're going to check the the fights earlier, we saw uh, Dominari. They're actually having a bit of a problem with Dominari at the same time with Arsenal. I think there is like a, a small issue on the items, is, I think. Mm-hmm. I think they just need to farm a bit more for their items to be upgraded on a certain level where they can actually burst down Arsenal and Dominari. So right mm-hmm. now, those guilds right now, who's defending right now, they're actually playing a very smart play since mm-hmm. that they know for a fact that there is a, a, a bit of gap on the item side. Like strat- mm-hmm. strategic-wise, I think they can actually perform well. We saw it on the defense, we saw it on the attacks, but on the items, they need to cover the items. In order to cover that, they need to increase the economy, they need to take care of their members, they need to take care on how they spent as well because every single um, like single spend on their on their end can actually delay them from hitting that specific items on time especially if there is an another event in the future so mm-hmm. I think those two guilds are doing just fine and mm-hmm. uh, I just want to welcome back Arsenal welcome back on the fight scene at the same time for good I believe I believe they were fighting since uh, a few Look, like I mean like sessions this is not, ago like this is not how they played for the past sessions they've been no 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 like... but they were they were battling at Donis for a long time oh, yeah. like uh, yeah. I believe there, there was uh, two sessions but yeah. Adonis is not really present for now though yeah. but I yeah. just want to read this as well. All Brick said, uh, we're, we're, we are from Infinix Reborn. We are still developing uh, developing guild and still testing our, uh, testing our strengths. Which is, I think, Infinix right now is on the state that if they have items, they're going to be dangerous in the in the next sessions. Hmm. Cause, yeah, I believe uh, yeah. if they yeah. uh, uh, you know, farm more experience, get more items, get more members... <clears throat> I believe uh, they are going to be a formidable guild, but and I think that that's it. This is a slow progress for yeah. the guild, and I think uh, you know majority of the guilds are doing their very best to be able to participate in the War of Imperium more, yes. and uh, yes. maybe participate more in the upcoming Ragnarok Asian Masters and uh, exhibition matches that we'll yes. be having in Ragnarok Online GGH. Yes, right. Mm. So yeah, so if. Yeah, shoutouts to uh to Infinix Reborn. You guys are doing a solid job there, and uh, from the defense and offense, we s- we saw the effort, guys. And again, for those people who's watching right now, and if you don't have a guild, I think Infinix Reborn is a promising guild. And trust me, sooner or later, that this guild can actually match those guilds. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. name drop, but those <laughs> guilds. Yeah. So yeah. better. Join this guild, guys, and uh, check the recruitment on the on the score as well. There is a recruitment tab there for guilds, so make sure to double check that. And if you uh, saw any guilds that can actually fit on your playstyle, better check them. Yes, all right. So yeah, that's going to be it for tonight's War of Imperium session. Yes. Congratulations again to all the guilds who uh, participated in War of Imperium, and for those who uh, successfully conquered their own castles. Yes. And um, we have a question in mind right now. When will we see the battle between Last Nightmare and Dominari once again? 
When? Maybe we'll find out when in the next session. Yes. But that's going to be it for tonight. Again, we are your casters for tonight. My name is James. And my name is MG. Reminder again, Water for Perry is every Saturday and Tuesday, 9 to 11 p.m. GMT plus 8. Shoutouts to everyone and have a good night. And so this is it for us. We'll see you again next time. Bye, guys.